You guys ready? Is this it? Moment of truth. We're gonna fire it up. Here we go. It's gonna work perfect. I can feel it in me bones. Happy Jeff. Oh yeah, happy Jeff. Sweet. Just need to feed the beast now then. So what kind of controls do you guys run on these? Okay. Are they cat controls? You want to get in there? Yeah. All right, bro, I'll hand her over. She's a weapon, the old D. One a minute? Just whatever, it's no, just, just it feel. Yeah. Normally with the trommels, you can tell if the rings are dirty halfway down, you're feeding it too fast. You only really want that top section running dirty. Gotcha. Yeah. Great little plant to start with because you haven't got the side tables. That's what I was just telling Dan. I was like, man, for a lot of the ground that we're looking at, it being road legal, and just taking the stacker off is huge. Yeah. You know, Fairbanks, there have to be a lot of thought put into our portability because if you have to tear a wash plant down and take days to tear something down to move it from site to site, it's gonna have a pretty big effect on the operation. One thing I like about this plant is that you can have it moved and set up in half a day probably and that brings your costs down because you can move the plant with just with two people and you know a plant this size matt has it kind of turned down at you know 40 yards an hour which is probably smaller than where i'd like to be but there's something to be said for keeping it small and agile big yellow ticks the box for maneuverability but the biggest question remains can it catch gold That my park is feeding it nicely. He is bloody good at it, big up. Oh, yes. That's what he's doing. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's a pretty cool compact design. Running at the yardage they're running at, I think it's fine for here. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's but I see a few issues. Parker might run into trying to run a little more material than they're running here. I think if Parker's trying to run, you know, he's telling me somewhere in the neighborhood of 160 to 180 cubic yards per hour. Okay. I think in theory, if he's going to overload the system, that is uh, definitely one thing to think about. I've not seen many wash plants where I'm from, but I haven't seen one with the sluice running underneath it. It seems to make sense to me, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. To be honest, it's uh, not something we typically see in the Klondike. Uh, most most of the time you see external sluice runs. But it looks like well-made and compact and do you know what I mean? Like, I've seen some that, some plants and this looks like a bag of Do you know what I mean? This is a very nice plant. It's built very nice. Another uh, big factor is when you're running hydraulic ripples, it comes down to how much pressure you're running in here so you don't get your ripples packing up too fast. Otherwise, you start losing gold. Well, it always go straight over the top. Yeah. You always want your fingers to kind of sink in a little bit. If you apply a little bit of pressure, you want them to kind of go down a little bit. Yeah, OK. So far, so good. I would have liked to have run for our normal four hours this morning is what I was trying to do. And no, I would have showed you how we rake the table and wash that and start off again. Uh, it makes me feel better because it makes me know that we're not alone in all the breakdowns we have. Uh, but anyway, it's five o'clock and we're running and it's time to knock off. <laughs> well, we're shutting down for the day, so I'm gonna throw one more old scoop in here and hope the boss doesn't fire me on day one. 
switch her off, no. Oh, no. Switch Done. Off, no. Done. How was that? Good. Feel like you're back at work? <laughs> yeah. But I don't do that at the mine site. No, I didn't think so. I'm a desk jockey. Got boys for that. Matt, do you ever find nuggets or is it all just finds? Just bulk of the gold is under three millimeter. Yeah, okay. There's a fair bit on that for the time we've been running. Well, that's good parkers here. Now you see the gold's picked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we've brought you nothing but bad luck. After running for three hours, it's time for the moment of truth. Here yeah, we look in there, Parker. Just got a bit of colour. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh my. Oh yeah, it looks all right. There's a bit of colour. Purity here is pretty good too. Yeah, 96 and a half. 96. Wow. That purity makes a big difference. After seeing Matt's trommel in action and evidence that it catches fine gold, Parker compares notes with Jeff. I like these underhung sluice runs. It's nice and compact. Um, it kind of keeps the sluice run underneath the system rather than on the outside, making it a little bit wider. I also like the way this conveyor is. It's controlled by hydraulics so that it can turn a little left to the, and to the right just to move your discharge pile if you don't have time to move it. It's a pretty cool feature. Sluice run width is gonna be your limiting factor in something like this, right? Yeah. Do you have a tape on you? Yeah. Three feet. Our big plants have 20 feet of width. This thing has six. So it's gonna knock you down on the yardage for sure. Yeah, big time. I was just thinking like, can you, could you widen this out and still make it easy to get road legal? We could do it, but in doing it, there's gonna be some things we'll have to drop and some things we'll have to change to, to make that work. With running the amount of yardage you're looking for, we're gonna have to do just a bit of a distribution system. Gotcha. The amount of yardage that Matt's running, uh, it's perfect for the way he has it. Uh, but Parker's talking about running quite a bit of uh, cubic yards through his plant. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do some distribution system underneath. So it's going to take place of where the sluice run is on this one. To increase the yardage of Big Yellow, Jeff proposes incorporating a distribution system and adding a much larger set of sluice runs. But. This would compromise its compact design. It wouldn't take any time at all to move that. And that's something that for Fairbanks we really need to consider. Matt also said this thing costs $20 a, a day to run. We burn that in 20 minutes on our big plants. All right, so what do you guys think of the wash plant? Would that ever be an option, Parker? Um, it's older, but it's also like classic New Zealand, super portable, super easy to move around, extremely cheap to run. Jeff, you're the evil genius when it comes to wash plants. Yeah, I think it's neat just to see the compactness of the underhung sluice. I think my problem with Matt's plant is I don't know how you keep the good parts of it and scale it up. How do you double that and keep all the good bits in it? So we're not exactly where we want to be? Not necessarily. So that plant, we're not buying that? I don't think so. Let's go see him. Thanks a ton for the time. Really good learning experience for us. But for our setups, it's just too small. Yeah, okay, it's all fine. I really enjoyed it. It's been good to have some 
like-minded miners. With what our mission is in terms of like looking at plants that are for sale and seeing new technology and different kinds of plants, is there somebody or some place that you'd recommend we go? Yeah, you just got to keep heading south and it'll come your way. Gotcha. We'd be able to see a bunch of different stuff happening there. Yeah, huh? yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. It's been a real pleasure. Oh, thanks, Matt. Real it was awesome running Little Red yeah. there. It was good. Love to come up to your workshops. Yeah, absolutely. To me, yeah. Yeah, and you better make it up to the Yukon. Oh, yeah. All right, good. Thanks, make it a trip. Matt. I really appreciate that. Thank nice you. Nice one. Thanks, man. We'll take a few days off, and I'll give you the grand tour. There you go. The wash plan I showed Parker wasn't the perfect match. The goal after this is to keep the contacts up, but also show wash plants that make them both stop and go, this could be the one.